Coming to the 11th question. A TV tower stands vertically on the bank of the canal from a point on the other bank directly opposite to the tower. The angle of elevation of top of the tower is 60 degrees. From other point 20 meters away from this point on the line joining this point to the foot of tower. The angle of elevation of top of the tower is 30 degrees. Find the height of the tower and the width of the canal. Now moving on to the solution. Here he has given a tower with AB as its height. Therefore let us note down that height of the tower in the given figure is AB. And he has given that there is a canal and from the bank of the canal C top of the tower is observed at an angle of elevation 60 degrees. Therefore here the width of the canal will be BC. And he has given an another point of observation of the top of the tower D which is 20 meters away from the canal and the angle of elevation here is 30 degrees. So second point of observation is D and distance between C and D here is given as 20 meters. Now here let us assume that canal width be x meters and height of the tower be h meters. Here we need to find both the height h and the width of the canal x. In order to find this let us initially consider the triangle ABC. In triangle ABC as the tower is standing vertically we can say that angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. In a right angle triangle we know that tan theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side where theta is the included angle. Therefore here we can say that tan 60 degrees will be equal to opposite side that is AB here divided by adjacent side here is BC which is equal to AB is nothing but H by BC is nothing but X which implies tan 60 degrees is root 3 that will be equal to h by x which implies h is equal to x root 3. Let it be as equation number 1. Now let us consider in triangle ABD as tower is standing vertically we can say that angle B is equal to 90 degrees here also and let us take the trigonometric ratio tan here so that tan 30 degrees will be equal to opposite side that is AB divided by adjacent side here is DB that is equal to opposite side AB is nothing but H divided by DB here is DC plus BC which is X plus 20. We know that tan 30 degrees is 1 by root 3 which is equal to H by X plus 20 which implies x plus 20 is equal to h root 3. Let it be as equation number 2. From equation 1 we have h is equal to x root 3. Let us substitute in equation number 2. Equation 1 is substituted in equation 2. Then we get x plus 20 is equal to in place of h from equation 1 we get x root 3 into root 3. That implies x plus 20 is equal to root 3 times root 3 is 3 so 3 into x is 3x which implies let us send this x to right hand side then we get 2x is equal to 20 which implies x is equal to 20 by 2 that is nothing but 10 and let us substitute this x is equal to 10 let us substitute this x is equal to 10 in equation number 1 then we get h is equal to x root 3 which is 10 root 3. Therefore finally we can say that we assume the height of tower AB to be h meters. Therefore height of tower will be equal to 10 root 3 meters. And here we assume that width of canal is x meters. Therefore width of canal here will be x meters that is 10 meters.